This segment brought to you by Bob Schwartz Financial. Values, commitment, transparency. E.G. Taves joining you on the program today, and our guest is Amy Shum. She's the owner and operator of Farmer and Florist in Home, Kansas. She is growing her own flowers, something that is pretty rare in the state of Kansas. Now, we've talked about a lot of things, but one of the things that would send me over the edge is the weather in Kansas as far as any agriculture. Something that you've really had to struggle with as far as uh, what grows, what's blown away, (laughs) um, different things like that? Yes, so it's definitely never in my hands. It's always in Mother Nature's hands, for sure. Yeah, as a farmer, you just kind of have to roll with the punches and do what you can. And um, I mean, we definitely, we have the tunnel for that reason. You know, it protects it from excessive wind and temperature swings and it helps us you know kind of do season extensions and all of those things so yeah that's why we definitely grow in tunnels if we can and we definitely put our um, most expensive crops in the tunnels just to keep them extra protected Um, and then we also net a lot of things which also helps with you know kind of wonky stems and keeping things upright Um, especially if you've got a big windstorm that comes through. I mean, it could just take out your whole crop, but if you have it netted, there's a much better chance of it, you know, being saved essentially and not breaking. So now, and I was going to ask that probably helps with (laughs) animals too, or anything like that, because we do live in Kansas. So deer (laughs) and rabbits and everything else. Yeah. So thankfully we haven't had too much um, pressure with deer or anything else because we are kind of on that main, I guess, strip of, of home city. So um, we're kind of technically considered in town, but um, but we have, you know, three acres. So, so yeah, we haven't had too much deer pressure or other animals, fingers crossed so far. So I've been kind of lucky with that. Now, have you had anybody approach you about um, putting beehives or anything like that in or around your flowers? So, um, funny you ask that. Yes, most flower farmers actually will have bees um, just because they kind of go hand in hand, honestly. But sadly, my husband is like deathly allergic to bees. So, I um, and and they get, you know, doing bees and all that, it, it takes, they're heavy. Um, so I just didn't want to take on that task of trying to do it all myself. And so I've just kind of put that aside. So yes, I would love it if someone else could, could have bees for me, but yes, we've, we've kind of just decided that he doesn't need to carry around an EpiPen all day long. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But you'd be open to somebody else having bees on your property. Yes. Yeah, we love honey. So, yes, we would totally, I mean, I I was asking any other aspects that you have found uh, difficult in this growing process. As a farmer, I mean, it's just, it's all a labor of love. Thanks for joining us today. That was our guest, Amy Shum. She's the owner and operator of Farmer and Florist in Home, Kansas. Growing flowers for agriculture, which is pretty rare in the state of Kansas. I'm Bob Swartz, and I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency.